guys, welcome back to another episode of Hitman 3. And yeah, let's continue. We turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable. And he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards. And I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. Hmm? Hmm. Old habits. I found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, You'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. So we just need to take out. I need a damn burn more than do. I know the story she's trying to go betray us, but in the game, we have to go whatever it says. Kind of sucks. Nice about our sharing. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Oh, shoot. I know what's going on. Okay. Here, I got you an invitation. Just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Let's get it. Good luck, 47. Let's go. 
to eliminate Don, Archibald, Yachts, and limit Tamara Bedell. Let's do not eliminate Diana, Diana. Three, two, one. Eyes and target over the top. One and shoot over the top. Bienvenidos to Vineda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Enjoy. Party dance 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 Okay, I'm gonna do over the top. Let's see. Ah yes, Miss Vida. Miss Vida. Corvo got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties and a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, well, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sick. A private tour of the estate. It's mental. Nothing quite spoils a party like your guests in this place. Let's go this way, do this. tanks are accident prone if the pump malfunctions the tanks overflow this has happened before provoking an appearance from Don Yates it's likely mm. to happen again follow this boy Let's call this boy so we can follow that boy. Oh wait, I have to follow, I can't. Oopsies. Oopsies, I fell. Trespassing that way. Okay, I messed up. Okay, I messed up a story. I thought show yourself as Corvo Black. Okay. Yep, here. Corvo Black. Corvo Black. Dump him over the side. Talk to reception. Trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. They're down. Oh, 
How do I get down there? I'm over here. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That a boy. They try and bring him back in one piece. Can't there be <laughs> That was a bit rude. Yes, yes, it was. What? Oh, oh shoot. One costume. Where the hell is he? Who did this? What's it here? What? How is him with that? What? Hey, what? Dang it. Oh. Dude, there's no way I can do it right in front of everybody. Ah, oh, shoot. No! I was said, let me go upstairs real quick and hide. It's not. I guess here. find my way around. Enjoy it. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate. What? 
Okay, this way. Must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. He's right here. Some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. I don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for me. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste for one. Yates doesn't like how I prioritize. He can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Oh, my come on. I left him. A right grape knife? Acquire a grape, uh, grape nicking knife. He's over here. Harvest three Malbec grape vines. What are you? Okay. How do you know it's if it's um? Over here. Is it right, bro? There we go. Other side. There we go. Hmm. This way. Boom. I have a good search for it, like a... What's happening? Chief Winemaker! Ah. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good now. Now, you won't see 
Say these grapes are ripe for harvest. If for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to come back. Will do. Now, thank you, thank you. No, my picking. I'll put myself back as Carlo. Hello, welcome to Vineda hey, Gate. Up? I do mm. apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief one maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, just about to harvest this year's Greetings, crop. Sir. Great expectations. So, how sir, do you like oh. Argentina? Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize winning Malbec yeah. grapes are processed. We insist on distilling every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state of the art including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wineman, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack-of-all-trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just... 38 might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on the business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary yeah, stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer and secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Grape presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and the skins behind. I should add, the grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically rare and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. Oh, I need a key. Ah, oh, shoot, I don't have a key. So, this is what the little guy feels like. Fudge. No, all good. Looks like one for the mantle. Any further questions? Ask away. Let's see. Up here.
What can you tell me about this freezer? See if we could trap her and then make a freeze, bro. Screwdriver, I'm missing a screwdriver. Of course. You don't stay here for long. No kidding. Hey, there's no doorknob on the inside. Seems like a pretty glaring safety omission, if you ask me. Probably soundproof, too. And good luck getting a phone signal. Such imaginations you have. But there really is no need to worry. Why? We haven't had an accident since Mrs. Yates' dog was run over by a great picker. Now, there any more questions? Don't be shy. I didn't figure out ways to kill her, that's why. Probably screwdriver was over here now. Huh? Let's see, wait. What can you tell me about this grape crusher? Well, as the name implies, it crushes the steamed grapes into a thick pulp or must by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipeline. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the bath and get crushed to a pulp. It had to mm. be a bona fide idiot. Waste of space, if you ask me. Yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that. So if there's no further questions. What? Huh? Of course, you got turned around. Nice. Ooh, look at that body. What happened to your colleague? Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. Pope friction. She can find her I don't. Way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. Okay, a Tamara Vidal's gun. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. <laughs> I had the key for the crush. I wanted to see that. No. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? It's all very inspiring. I could see you retire to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates's fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including an 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked in the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you Eight. in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, he's Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you come very highly recommended as chief of the heralds let me be the first to say welcome aboard why thank you mr yates rest assured that i will be following your every lead very closely say that reminds me we're about to have a little herald get together up at the house just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constable you are of course most welcome to join us I believe you shall make a fine herald as the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. 
Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin. Bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Got it, Chief. Hmm. Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What did the aliens land on the front lawn? Hmm. Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine. Some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds. Come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diane? Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. You have to look it up. Shame on you. How am I gonna get in there? We need a encryption key. Or a screwdriver. Let's find a screwdriver. There has to be a screwdriver here somewhere. Where's a screwdriver at? I need to find a screwdriver. That's has to be way I can get in there. Screwdriver or the encryption key. Probably here on it. It's poison. Temperature and humidity in the barrel room. Blue driver? Blue driver, let's go. Screwdriver, here we go. what I need.
my friend Paladin? Is perfection irreplaceable? You don't drink the 19... 45 Grand Paladin any more than you... Hey! Someone get me! What's the thing though? Uh, for the Kobe Vintage here Oh, 1945. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be Baker. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting off. What are you gonna pat it down over here? I'm just gonna drop this, drop this, drop this, drop this. Okay. We're not coming this way unless I buy you down first. Let me down now. No se preocupe, don't swear, it's just routine. Ah, the thrust of seven down in there. Okay, green light, todo está bien. Go ahead. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss. Disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Okay, 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 okay. the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me. I have always understood the heralds, the unspoken heroes of Providence. The f ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary, a proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot, the wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, 
only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything. Which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards. The new supreme head of Providence is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, Absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What? You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is the best we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? I yes. agree. Yes. 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 I'm in. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Oh, shoot. Right. Move it. Let's go. Shoot. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue agent 47. Revenge for her changing side. Ten minutes to get to Diana. This is what you were all tested. A toast bed in her honor. Okay, let's go upstairs. Come on, mom. Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those whatever gates. Doesn't ring bell. So, Mr. Jake was clear. How am I gonna get there? Eight minutes. To 
take you long enough. Quick, clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. What? How are you connecting? Okay, okay, okay. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug courtesan do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. Won't get another shot at this. Just as long. When I provide distraction. They're too suspicious. I'm gonna compromise that fight. Shoot. I wish I'd go down there and kill this man. Huh? Bro? What the heck? Guys, and welcome back to Hitman 3. We are back for episode 3, mission at number 3, Apex Predator. Now, here's the deal. We're on our own. Typically, we've got some sort of a briefing video, but you guys can see it says, Find Olivia. She will give you more intel. So, uh, sounds good to me. I guess we're just going to hop right into it. I believe we're headed to Berlin, Germany. The outskirts of Berlin. And, um... We'll see what this brings us. Obviously, 47. It's not in the best positions right now. 